最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。哦、当强烈的信念让命运都无言，浪漫成了特权，狂喜狂。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想答案。Sister Jiang Shang, today Brother Liang Shang was very, very angry. Also, after he left, Matt Joe Mu came over. When he heard from Uncle Chen that you went to Uncle Chong's place, he became very angry too. It made me so scared. Is Uncle Chong all right, Sister? Hmm. Why do you ask that? Did the two of them have a fight all because of you? What? I feel bad for Uncle Chung. He can't see anymore. Why didn't you stay behind and help him out? The crisis with the board is finally over. Brother, that strategy you taught Yang Xin was very impressive. Even I was deceived. Tianan, I've decided to undergo surgery. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. I've thought a lot about it. But then, it carries some risks. If in case it ends up failing, then you would have to take care of our family. Brother, maybe you should put it off for a while. We just finished dealing with a board issue, and the company's stock isn't stable yet. I'm afraid it's not a good time for the surgery. Look, don't worry about me. Whatever comes, I'll have to accept it. Since we were kids, you've always stuck to whatever decision you'd made no matter how much others would oppose it, and it seems you've never been wrong. So this time, I'll still believe that you'll be okay. With you and Liam Shung, I have nothing to worry about. I can finally have a rest. Liang Sheng may never consider himself a member of our family. Actually, he believes family is very important. He just doesn't like showing his affections. He's a good brother to Zhang Sheng. Is that why you think he cares about family? Sure. He cares deeply about Zhang Sheng, but it still doesn't mean he cares about the Chengs. <sighs> Do you want to make a bet with me? Sure. Let's see who's right about him. Okay.
I lost my sight, and I may never recover it. What if you recover? Then I plan to get her back, at all cost. But what if you find out that she's already married and has children? If I ever recover, I'll ask her to marry me, even if she's already married and has children. You? Do you have a dream? You can tell me. To marry you. Tenshan, do you know the reason why there are no buildings near the Eiffel Tower? The reason is so that whenever you look up, you would always be able to see the whole thing. It's like it's saying, no matter where, no matter when, as long as you turn around, I will always wait for you. I'm sorry. Well, you don't have to be. It's not your fault. Life is a long journey. So you need to think about who you really want to marry. So I guess you did the right thing. But just remember that. The one I want is you. We can never go back to the time when we were still kids. It'll never be the same. We can't turn things back the way they were. You're not my brother anymore. And honestly, we lost each other a long time ago. I'm getting married next month.
Bonjour. Merci. Where's Liang Shang? Oh, playing golf. He left very early. Playing golf? Yes, with a business partner. A woman. Uh, I really don't understand why people play golf while doing business. Uh, by the way, Liang Shang prepared the milk for you right before he left. Donc, en fait, aujourd'hui, je vais vous présenter une musique très connue. La musique qu'il a créée s'appelle « Souvenir d'enfance » et je vais vous la faire écouter aujourd'hui. Because of Liang Shang, I've been curious about the piano since I was young. Brother, what is this thing? A music scorebook. A music scorebook? Where do you use it? You use this to play the piano. A piano? What is a piano? A piano is... a musical instrument that has many black and white keys. When you tap the keys, you make some sounds. Oh... I was young and innocent then. I used to believe that Liang Shang had a gift for the piano. And that one day, he would make it big in the music world. But after growing up, I found out that everything's different from what I thought. When I was in Dalian, I always tried to imagine what Liang Shang's life in Paris must be like. And now, I'm here living the life he lived then. Taking the paths he took. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. getting married this month. I'm going back to attend his wedding. If you have time, will you accompany me? These days, I feel like I'm a blind man wandering inside Zhang Shang's mind. To be honest, we can't go on like this. We have to figure out a way to make her open up her heart. Oh, I need to know the truth. What happened between the two of you? I really don't understand why you asked me to pretend to be our painting instructor. Zhang Shang finds psychotherapy repulsive. I asked you to pretend so you could get closer and cure her. Haven't I told you this before? Wait, you did tell me. But even though I've been acting as her instructor, she still wouldn't put her guard down. She's even more cautious now. Zhang Shang means a lot to me. I just want to protect her. And to set her free from all those memories. I really don't know what you think I can do like this. I am her doctor. I need to know about everything she's been through, about what happened to her here in France. 
Isn't there a Chinese saying that goes, if one has a heart problem, then one needs heart medicine. I am not the medicine, monsieur. Then am I? Hmm. Oh yes, right. There's one more thing I don't understand. And that is? You're a couple. You love her, and she cares for you. So why is she always resisting you? Dr. Andrew, you're invading our privacy. <sighs> no, 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 of course not. I'm a therapist. I'm not an FBI agent. But I haven't made any progress since I started. I need to get to know my patient. <sighs> Fine, then. I'm a painter. Okay. I hope she and I can become closer. Uh, what do you mean? But she doesn't want to. Her ghosts wouldn't let her. What? Ghosts? A lot of bad memories. But how come she can't face them? Mm, never mind. I already know. Tell me. Her past. I never cared about her past. Ah, uh, no, merci. I, I don't smoke. Shengsheng's past is a big part of her. It can't be erased. If I love her, then I should love all of her. Chinese is a beautiful language. Make full use of it to express your love. Between Zhengsheng and I, words are unnecessary. So? You're okay with this? But she isn't okay. Because I was her brother. <laughs> I don't. That was bad. That was so unprofessional of me. It's all right. But later on, we found out that we're not blood related after all. Oh, so dramatic. Excuse me, sir. It's already late. You should go rest soon. Oh, we. Oui. Uh, I didn't notice the time. Sorry. I should go. This can wait until tomorrow. <laughs> mm. Au revoir. I can't help but feel that doctor is not very reliable. If he's not reliable, why did you expose my private life to him? Uh, I... He got his doctorate degree from nothing less than Yale Medical School. He's also one of the youngest attending doctors in Yale's psychiatry department. It wasn't easy getting him here. Also, I've confirmed with him that he doesn't smoke. Uh, the cigar. It was I who smoked your cigar. Uncle I was... Chen, I will ask you again. Who came while I was gone? It was your father. I mean, it was Mr. Cho. Don't let him in next time. I apologize, sir. I told him about Miss Chang going to Chang Tianyo's place. When he heard it, he was enraged. I don't know why Miss Zhang doesn't understand how much you love her. I know that she's an intelligent girl, so why does she get so confused whenever she sees Cheng Tianyu? What's this? 
You seem to be annoyed with her. Uh, no, sir. You've misunderstood. I'm just... worried for you. I've been working by your side since the day you turned 21. For so many years, your sorrow, your bitterness, only you and I know of them. Uh, Mr. Qian said he treated Cheng Tianyo as his own son. Although, oh, of course, I have no right to say you are. But still, sir, all I want is for you to find happiness. That is, that is my dearest wish, sir. <sighs> Uncle Chen, it's not going to do us any good to be too close. But still, I want you to know, I'm hoping you can be trusted. Regardless of your opinion of Zheng Sheng, please remember that she's the lady of this house. seems to have found a new love. It's gone viral. I do uh, didn't show up. In one's life, one will meet 29 million people. But a chance of falling in love is only 0. .00049. So I don't blame you for not loving me. Whether there's love or not, there's some kind Tianyao can't come to Café du Flore, but if you'd like, come to his place. Tianyao is asleep now. Maybe another time. 
It was that note from Uncle Chen. It may be a small one, but he made us think we bailed out on each other. On the last day of May, at Café du Flore, we missed each other. Neither you nor I know why it ended up like this. I wonder if we'll ever meet again. Ma? 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 Mama! Ma! Hey, I got us some breakfast! Meisha, will you have to help me? My mom passed out. Huh? What? Here it is. Oh, an ambulance. Call one. Hurry, make the call. Yes, come down, come down. photos. I've released the announcement. All the relatives now know. You two are getting married. Oh, Ling Shang, look. Aren't you two the perfect couple? A match made in heaven. Did you do this? Liang Sheng, you are the perfect man. Except that when you see Zheng Sheng, you become so fragile. The only thing women want is status, huh? Give her that and she'll be fine. Look, I'm doing all of this for your sake. Well, I don't need it. Do you even realize how much damage you've done to her?
掌声，掌声。I'm sorry, Zheng Sheng. Brother, leave me alone. Why are you still here? Wait a minute. Recall the news about our wedding. Recall? <laughs> it's impossible. Liang Sheng, listen to me. If you love a woman, you should be at her side her whole life, so you can protect her as her husband. If you hold your feelings back, you'll get nothing in the end. Love is supposed to be simple. It's people who make it complicated. Take me, for example. Your mother's the love of my life, but we couldn't be together. Don't you think that kind of love was meaningless? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. Liang Shang, since Zheng Sheng is the woman you love, you should hang on to her tightly, do everything you can, to keep her by your side. Don't worry, I'm your father. I won't hurt you. Don't interfere with my life. I already have my own plans. Liu <sighs> Sheng, I know right now you can't understand what I'm doing, but I believe the time will come when you will. All you're doing it's destroying everything. Mr. Zhao, I know that you mean Liang Sheng well. But this time, you really have gone too far. Their feelings aren't even mutual yet. How could you make such an uproar prematurely? <laughs> if you're doing something, you should do it big. This is how a successful man conducts his everyday life. You really have no idea how much he cares about Zheng Sheng and how much he respects her. Releasing that news just makes the relationship more strained. Once you enter a dead-end tunnel, will you be able to make it back out? <laughs> no, you don't understand. Don't you know, when an army faces great danger, it will fight its hardest to survive? Similarly, if a person's in dire straits, he'll do everything to turn it around and come out a winner. Uh, the two of them have treated each other as siblings for too long. Changing such a relationship will take some getting used to. All I want to do is give them a little push. I'll create opportunities for them and make sure their marriage becomes a reality. <laughs> Just give it some time. The outer change will eventually bring about inner change. I'm Liang Sheng's real father. I certainly have the right to decide for him. <sighs> I think your sophisticated plan is most likely to fail. Because you see, your misunderstanding with him would be very hard to resolve. <laughs> as long as my son can be happy, even if he hates me, it's fine. I owe him and his mother way too much. Before, I couldn't make him happy. So now, I have to make it happen. Liang Sheng was adopted when he was little. He never had a home he could call his own. That was all my fault. So I want to make it up to him. If I can get them married to each other, Liang Sheng can finally build his own home. <laughs> if the outcome is good, I wouldn't care if he understands me 
Or if he doesn't, you can disregard your misunderstanding all you want. But what about Zheng Sheng? If she misunderstands Liang Sheng, what happens then? <laughs> so what if she does? A man with ambition shouldn't be dragged down by women. Mr. Zhao, are you sure this is the best for Liang Sheng? Of course, I'm sure it is. As long as Zheng Sheng stays put, I could put my plan into action. Oh, and I'll be making my move pretty soon, before Tian Yo makes his. <laughs> well, you just wait for their wedding. Uncle Chen, I don't care what methods you use, but you must withdraw the news. It has already been released. I'm afraid it can't be withdrawn. I don't care if it has. Huh? Just get it withdrawn! Do you know how much damage Zheng Sheng will suffer if this announcement goes out? Fine. If it's out there, then release another statement. Make it say that no such wedding will happen. But sir, if you're going to make a retraction, it might end up bringing more harm to Miss Zhang. The public would assume you never wanted this wedding in the first place. How could Miss Zhang possibly stand up to such ridicule and humiliation? It is times like these that you have to stay calm. Please, sir. You must reconsider. Mushroom! Go ahead and spread the news that the two of them are getting married. Make sure my other grandson gets to hear of it. Mr. Chung, I came here as soon as I landed. Uh, Liang Sheng and Zheng Sheng are getting married. I sent you the pre-wedding photos. You've made such a huge commotion out of this wedding. All of our relatives already know about it. Is this how you'll force me into acceptance? <laughs> I personally came in order to say some things in their behalf. Uh, no matter what you think of Zheng Sheng, the Zhengs did save Liang Sheng's life. Truth be told, we should be grateful to them. If back then Zhang Liangzhi didn't take Liang Sheng in, you would have lost a grandson, and I would have lost a son. If Chang Ching's soul in heaven can hear you us. You have no right to speak her name. <sighs> I admit I failed her. I deserve to die. But I swear to you. She's the only woman I ever loved. And the same goes for her. 
Otherwise, she wouldn't have ran off and cut ties with the Chungs just to give birth to our child. Are you done now? If you are, then I'm sending you off. <sighs> Mr. Chung, with the way Liang Sheng is, he won't marry anyone except for Zhang Sheng. <sighs> Maybe you want him to stay single. Also, Liang Sheng's in poor health. I'm so worried about him. Aren't you worried? <sighs> and also, as his elders, shouldn't we want him to be happy? So then, Mr. Chung, please do give them your blessings if you will. Your grandpa sent you this. Yes, what is it? Liang Sheng's pre-wedding photos with Zhang Sheng. It seems they're going to get married. I see. I'll leave you alone.